Alright guys, today's video, I have right here a Droid, Motorola Droid Razor Max, actually. Uh, which is, let me just go into the settings here and show you guys what it actually is. We go to About Phone right there, and uh, you can see what we're running right now. This is Android uh, 4.2.2. This is the XT912, so like I said, this would be the Motorola Droid Razor or Droid Razor Max. Um, so what I'm going to show you guys today is I'm going to show you guys how to install Android version 4.3, which is the newest version that got released uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, and Saijin Mod has got this on their official website, and you can download it from there. I'll also put links in the video description down below. So I'm running a custom round right here, that's why I'm on this version. I, you do have to have SafeStrap installed already, plus root access. I have videos on both those things on my website or on my YouTube channel, either one. Um, so what we're going to do first is just go ahead and power off the device. And let it shut down. Go ahead and make sure you download the ROM um, and the Google applications. You need to have the 4.3 Google applications and obviously uh, CM10 which is for 4.3 Android so we're gonna boot up here we're going to go into safe strap if it boots up here give it a second so hit the menu button right there on the screen and we should boot into safe strap now it's really important that you guys install um, CM10.2 in ROM slot 1 so we're gonna go to boot options you can see I have carbon in ROM slot 1 right now as we speak. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I'm just going to change the name. We're going to call this CM and then I know it's 10 so we'll do that too though. So 10 and then I'm just going to go dash 4.3 so I know what it is. Hit go and hit back. So we're activated in that slot right now. You can see ROM slot 1 at the top. Um, and it's ROM slot 1 that we're activated on. Make sure those things are done. If you don't have a, a slot activated again, watch my safe strip video. It really goes through that really well. So we're going to go over here to uh, wipes. And we're going to wipe cache. Swipe across to wipe it. Go back. Delvic. Swipe across to wipe it. Go back. Factory reset. Swipe across to wipe that. Go back. System. Swipe across to wipe it. So you're wiping those top four right there. Um, just to give you guys a clean slate for installing this. So we're going to go out of this. Go to installs. And actually I think I'm in the right file already. So um, just know where you downloaded your files to. So I'm going to go right here to this uh, CM10.1.2 spider zip. And then I'm going to add one more. And I'm going to go to the Google applications. And these are the Google applications for... Android 4.3 and then we're just going to go ahead and swipe come on there we go and there was two files listed and you can see one of two on the bottom down there so it's going to flash both of these files first the ROM then the Google applications uh, when it's done we'll reboot and we'll check out this ROM so the Google applications have installed also everything should be good to go all we got to do now is do the reboot system and I don't know if they changed their boot animation but as you guys know, I always watch the boot animations. So we're going to check it out on this one also and see if it's any different or if it's just the same CM10 uh, boot animation. So we're going to go to Safe Strap. I'm going to hit my skip right here for skip this. So search and it'll skip over that. If you don't hit that, it's just going to sit there for about 10 seconds and then boot normal anyway. It just makes it a little bit faster, at least hopefully. Uh, the ROM install took about two and a half three minutes to do this first boot up right here could take up to 10 uh, be very patient on it. this is a pretty good size processor and fast processor so it shouldn't take that long but all right so there you go there is the stock cm10 boot animation i'm going to let this thing boot go through my settings show you guys the rom and we'll wrap it up all right here we go here's the startup screen so let's go ahead and go through this I don't have a sim in here right now, that's why it's telling me to skip this step. Um, it's just not in the phone, not a big deal. I'm just going to bump through this setup really quick here and show you guys this stuff here. Yeah, skip it anyway. 
No, not now. Skippity dippity. Sure, whatever. And okay, here we go. Should be all finished. And let's check this thing out here. This should be Android version 4.3. Now, if you saw what I installed in the video earlier in SafeStrap, the actual file was the wrong one. I went back and reinstalled the right one. You need to be looking on in the nightly section on Saijin Mods download page. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and check this one out here. Um, you can see it's pretty basic. There isn't really too much on here. Let's go ahead and check out the app drawer. And... Okay, so you do have uh, File Manager, CM File Manager. You have Apollo up there for music. G Plus Photos. I have not seen that application. That's interesting. And this Focal. I don't know what that is either. Um, Terminal Torch. Let's go ahead and check out this Focal. I don't, I don't know what this is at all. Oh, it's a uh, camera. Shutter button. Okay. So, some kind of camera features here. Okay, cool. I'm going to have to play with that. That looks pretty slick. Um, very, very cool. Definitely. You also have this camo camera here, which is your standard camera. Yeah, so it does also function. Um, from what I understand, the flash does not work on the camera. Uh, that's what I was reading online. But uh, still, that's focal. I'm going to definitely play with that. That looks really cool. Okay, so there you go. There's your stuff. Let's go ahead and go into settings. And you have your home screens, your lock screens, your themes, your interface, all these fun settings in here. Status bar, quick setting panel, notification, expanded desktop. Um, themes, obviously you can install your themes from the market. Um, or Google Play, I should say, or Play Store. Lock screen and home screens. So this is your launcher, trebuchet launcher. Um, see what else we have here device buttons and I'm not sure what that is power menu okay so you can do screenshots on there and different stuff on the power menu volume music stuff things like that that's really nice um, profiles are on and off you have that stuff in there you have super user right here built in to the settings which is very good and then about phone here we are XT 912 Android version 4.3 um, very very nice very very nice uh, so you can see developer options is not set there so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna turn on developer options by just there we go now we should have developer options yep there we go and it looks like it also enabled performance so that's very interesting that to get performance you had to turn on developer options by tapping on that build number um, and you can go in here and do uh, your processor speeds and governors and IO schedulers and all that goodies. So very very cool. Um, definitely digging it. It looks real nice. Let's go in here really quick though and let's do this tap also, so you guys can see that we do have Jelly Bean Android version 4.3. And if you hold down, you get your little Easter egg, your Jelly Beans. So there you go. That is it. I mean, there's definitely plenty of customization in here. And I'm sure you guys can go through and change all kinds of percentages and stuff up here on the top and how your toggles are set up, all that kind of goodies, just like any side you might around. This does seem to run very, very smoothly. Um, definitely like, like that. Definitely like that. And I'm definitely going to be playing with this focal camera to see how well that works. Very, very cool. So there you go. That is how to install uh, Android version 4.3. Saijin Mod 10.2, however you want to call it, um, on the XT912 or the Motorola Droid Razor Max or Droid Razor. And there it is. Hope you guys like it. As always, guys, please check me out right up here at RootJunkie.com. Right there. Facebook and Twitter on the side. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.